What's going on guys, this is Sam, and it seems like every single week we're hearing about a new Apple security vulnerability. Whether it's an iOS one week with HomeKit, Mac with the root vulnerability from November, or any other platform, there's just so much happening. We just had Meltdown and Spectre issues last week on pretty much every device made in recent history, and today Mac Rumors shared a new one in macOS High Sierra version 10.13. Point two. It allows you to enter any password whatsoever and gain access to the App Store preference panel. But I want to be upfront in saying that compared to other security flaws, it's really not that big of a deal. I think that it's been blown out of proportion already. Uh, when Mac Rumors first shared the article, people saying that they completely lost hope and trust in anything Apple's been doing. I agree that it's a serious issue. Anytime you can enter a password without question and, and get access to something, is, is a big deal, like there's no getting around that. But at the same time, if you look at the App Store Preferences panel, there's not a lot you can do here. You can disable automatically checking for updates, you can uncheck these options for downloading newly available updates in the background, installing app updates, macOS updates, system data and security updates, you can automatically download apps purchased on other Mac computers from your Apple ID, you can show updates, and you can also adjust some password settings when you buy something free or paid on the App Store, whether you wanna save the password or have to type it in every time or only required it after 15 minutes. And the craziest part about this is that the App Store preference panel is actually unlocked by default. If you're logged in as an administrator, it's unlocked by default. The problem with this security flaw is that when you lock it, if you wanted to prevent unauthorized access to this panel when you're logged in as an administrator, you can now enter any password as you see here and get right in. Unlike other bugs in recent history, there are some specific criteria this time that you have to fulfill for this bug to work. The bug is not in macOS High Sierra 10.13.1, and it's already been fixed in macOS High Sierra 10.13.3, that beta version that's gonna be released at some point in the future. It only affects macOS High Sierra, the public release, which is 10.13.2, and you have to be logged in as the administrator. If you're not logged in as administrator, other user accounts aren't affected. So if you're using like a shared computer with other accounts, your personal account that's not the administrator is not affected by this. The bug is only present on the administrator account. My thoughts on this flaw are that while it is a serious issue that should be addressed pretty promptly, you can't gain access to any of your personal data through this. You can adjust how updates are installed or when you enter your Apple ID password, but there's no way that anyone could buy an app without using your Apple ID password or change some setting where you couldn't get into your computer or gain access to photos or messages, emails, passwords. This is just access to one preference panel. Is it frustrating? There's no question about that. It's super frustrating to see these security flaws continue to slip through the radar, continue to go into public release versions of macOS, or sometimes it's iOS or watchOS, tvOS has actually been pretty good, but it's definitely frustrating. I'm glad that this only affects the App Store preference panel and not other preference panels as well, but still this issue speaks volumes. People are gonna hear about this, people are gonna be upset. Um, I, I don't know what's happening at Apple. I wish that they would actually say something about the issues they've said in the past. You know, we're gonna look at our processes, we're going to audit them, we're gonna make sure nothing's happening. They need to do something faster. They need to actually have a conversation, do an interview, say something of substance rather than, you know, we're gonna look at our processes, we're gonna, we're gonna try to make sure that this doesn't happen in the future because it's unacceptable. As always, I love hearing your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this security issue down below in the comment section. My issue is not with this alone. If this was the only thing that happened in recent months, Yes, it would be a big deal, but it's not that big of a deal. No personal data is at risk, and that's what's really important to me. My issue is that these issues keep popping up. These aren't isolated occurrences. They don't happen every six months, every year. This has been four or five issues across Apple's platforms in the past couple of months. Anyway, that is gonna be all for this video. Once again, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, it does help me out if you take one second to drop a like down below. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I've been Sam, I hope you're doing great, and I will talk to you in my next video.